Hey guys, what is up, Sunday Chelsea? Uh, to be honest, just saying that feels a bit weird because of course I haven't made a video. God, it must be over a month now, definitely. I think I made like a Premier League preview with my mate Michael. And that was about a month ago. But in terms of Chelsea, God, that definitely is over a month. Uh, to kind of explain uh, why I've been away, um, for several reasons, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Uh, probably just motivation. I, I could probably use the excuse of being busy, which is true. Um, anyone that goes to like college or... A, um, school or something like that or even work you know it does kind of go on top of you especially work uh, especially now at this time of the year of college you know it's kind of going up to the last kind of term now um, so work does ramp up and um, other stuff as well motivation I think is definitely a key and you know my kind of things my kind of feeling towards anything I do is if I can't give 100% then for me there is really no point of doing it um, and that's at least my opinion on it but I come back at a, a super time, do you know, like literally, um, we are, what, three wins away from the title, it feels quite weird that it's this close now, um, and what a game tomorrow, Manchester United at home, um, to be honest, going into the game, I mean, of, of course there is going to be some kind of, uh, I guess, fear, or, because our performances haven't been as good, and you know, there's a bit of me that probably thinks that you know, going into this game, it's going to be tough, it's going to be difficult, um, and especially considering our performances, yes, our performances haven't been as good, and I'm not going to sit here and say that, We, I don't think we've won a game but over a goal, and just like, in my opinion, we haven't won a game comfortably in quite a while, um, and what a game it would be tomorrow to do it, uh, and as well, you know, compared to, I'm always going to be going into a big game, of course, there's going to be a bit of nerves, because of course, you're playing against good opposition. But, to be honest, going in against United, who are banging form at the moment. But also some news that came out today is that Michael Carrick, Rojo, Daly Blind and Phil Jones have been ruled out of the game. Now, the only one out of those that I think really is a big blow for United, I I mean, United fans, you know, you what if you want my, watch my videos, tell me what you think about that, if you actually think that there are more than that. But I think Carrick is the main one. He has been such a key... I mean, you see even what he's done for England. I mean, I don't take much interest in England. But you see, he really has been that kind of midfield general that sits in the middle of the park. A bit like match, but can distribute the ball. He's kind of... Um, he always reminds me of ta a kind of Makaleli type player. Um, and he really does help out. And he's really underrated in truth. That's been his whole United career, really. Um, and, I mean, yeah, him missing is a big thing. And, you know, even... Um, United fans, and, and kind of what I noticed when he went off with injury on Sunday against um, City, even though they were destroying City, he came, he came off and you could clearly see there was some sort of difference. So will that make an impact? Of course, they've still got Fellaini, they've still got Rooney, they've still got Matt, they've still got Herrera, you know, they've... Uh, did I say Di Maria? Di Maria, you know, they've still got brilliant players at their disposal. I think Fellaini is a big um, threat. Just because of what he gives to the United team, he clearly is part of Van Hal's system. It's worked in. He is a key kind of part in that system. And if we can get Matic, or there has been some talk of Jose doing what he did in the cup final against Spurs and bringing Zuma in, which I think is a good idea, because I don't know what Zuma's done wrong. Um, he just got kind of, he was brilliant up to the cup final, and then after that, hasn't been back in the team, really, only been on the bench. Him could be, that could be a key part. And I think he, especially if United want to go direct, he's a brilliant part of that. And as well, it, if we can stop Fellaini, it will give Sesk, I think, more time. Because Sesk really got marked out the game at Old Trafford in October by Fellaini. So, in truth, I think it is going to be a very tight game. Now, I think that win against QPR, as brilliant as it was, um, the, I mean, that goal from Cesc Fabregas, I mean, literally, that, that you've got to agree with me, that was probably one of the most the best celebration of the season. Him running up to those QPR fans. I mean, a more hostile environment. I want QPR to go down because it's the toughest place we've been to this season. I don't, you know, Etty had, you know, the Emirates, you can, which we haven't been to yet this season. You know, that is a tough place to go when literally it is the most hostile environment. And you've got to give some credit to QPR. They went in, they, they applied their game plan well, uh, but we just ground it out. And that's what Chelsea do best. And that's what champions do best. Now, our fans, um, and, I, and I think it's the same with most fans, especially big clubs. And I've said it before, and it was the reason I left Talk Chelsea. I'm now on Chelsea Talk, the other uh, Facebook group that was created, um, about everyone expecting 5 0 every week. Now, I don't literally mean 5 0 every week because that's unrealistic, but it's kind of expectation that every week Chelsea are going to be brilliantly. As I've already addressed to you, 
that I don't think we're a better level than we were at the start of the season, of course. But what you've got to remember is, and why we call, these are probably the same people who call Premier League the most competitive league in the world. There's a reason why, because the, the, you don't get many walkovers now, and especially when we're playing, we're probably a load of teams' cup finals now. You know, teams want to beat Chelsea because they know we're running for the title. If they can stop that, and as well, United want to secure that top four place. Arsenal as well, that's going to be a big game for them, big game for us. You know, all of that, facing QPR who hate us, and as well, they're in a relegation battle, scrappling at the bottom of the table, really hoping, hoping that they can survive. So the game is going to be tough. Um, but I feel there are positives on Sunday. Um, Oscar, I think, came on and made a difference, and he has not been good enough. Uh, after I mean, me and uh, Joe, I think it was, we were giving him big praise. And since, really, I, I Swansea game, really, and that was a lot of performances that were brilliant. And then since then, it's not been the same. And Oscar was really, and I think he really helped on Sunday. Loic Remy has a chance to play. Of course, Jose did his press conference, and he did say that Loic Remy has a chance to play. Um, and I think he will help because if we get into that United defence, who are gonna they 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 feed off the the team. What we've got to do tomorrow is we've, and I know this is what is gonna hate people. We've got to play tight. We've got to lock down. We've got to do what we did against Spurs. Either that or we just go out and blitz them. And I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a mix of both. We are we can adapt in games. That's what's good. Um, I think Remy behind in the like the pace, the pace of William, like a front three of like William, Remy and Hazard, I think really damage their defence, and I think that could really help us tomorrow. Um, just on because on I think with them losing Jones, who yeah sure isn't their best defender, but is a like someone who's regularly in their team. They haven't got uh, Evans to come in because he's banned, um, so they're really struggling for options at the back. And if we can infiltrate that, if we can get in. Eden Hazard, who's player of the year in my books, I don't know anyone else who can disagree with that really, um, can really enjoy himself tomorrow because, you know, th there's going to be lots of space. Um, Man United want to play open, attacking football. I think that suits us more than a team who sit back, defend, um, a team who wants to play open. Um, and as well, we've just got to be smart. We've got to be smart of what we're doing tomorrow. Um, and this is something I want to say. I mean, I think if we can win tomorrow, I think... I don't want to say we'll win the title because anything can happen in football. I think a win from our next two games, if we get like a draw and a win, either way, two draws I don't think is the worst thing because, you know, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's not the worst thing ever because uh, then we can win it, I think, at the Liverpool game if I'm right. If we say if we draw these two and then win Leicester, Crystal Palace, and Liverpool, then we've won the title, uh, depending on other results and all that, I think. Um, would you take like a draw? Because I think if we can get a draw in one of these two games against Arsenal or Man United, I think we're in a brilliant position. I think, you know, it's going to take a real uh, screw-up not to win the title at that point. Uh, but if we can win tomorrow, I think it will give us brilliant confidence. I think it will give everyone a lift, especially if we win like 2-0. Um, what people got to realise is there's no easy games. We're going to go into tomorrow... And there's gonna, it's gonna be tough against United. This is Manchester United we're talking about. Uh, like the six nils against Arsenal and stuff like that. The four nils against Spurs, um, stuff like that. You know that doesn't happen every time. So I, I, I think we've got to get behind the boys. We've got to make a good atmosphere at Stamford Bridge, you know, and all of that. So thank you for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. I'm happy to be back. I'm gonna be back in for the run in. Gonna be doing my review tomorrow night. I'll be at the game. I'll probably go and see Eunice on 100% Chelsea, so check my interview out on there. Hopefully I'll be talking about a win with Eunice. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again. Good to say that again.